Let's go to the next article. And you are now listening to Activate LA Radio. It's colon slash slash www.instagram.com slash IA. Okay, this case, dude, this case, guys, <clears throat> I, um, I've been meaning to talk about it and I've been wanting to talk about it, but uh, luckily, because of the long weekend, you know, um, I couldn't co- come online. Yo, yo, what's up? What's up? Rock so, rock so, Jim. So, this is this is a crazy case, and this is another thing too. You know, uh, once again, baby, you're tuning in. People, are t- people are tuning in. You're like, oh man, you know, you always talk about true crime. What's up? This goes to because I want I want ladies out there, man, to be aware. Open your eyes, especially on these dating apps. So, I noticed I I noticed that. Not a lot of people in the media was not covering this case for, for a certain reason. Uh, the media didn't care. Um, it's about, you know, a woman found dead after meeting an older man on a dating app. So I saw th- I saw this, this, this article and I was like, oh man, it's another case. And luckily, you know, may she rest in peace. But what pissed me off was that uh with the cops according to the family you know the family was like hey we want justice you know this guy you know we have this guy this guy went out with with my daughter and she ended up dead and and the cops were like they didn't care they told the family well that they didn't arrest them or they didn't proceed to to do charges or anything because they said because the guy seemed nice and i was like what and they let him go. So, um, the article, okay, let me see. Um, the article kind of, they changed the title. It's kind of weird because I said a woman found dead and it said after the, the previous articles, when it came out a couple of days ago, it, um, it said after meeting an older white man on a dating app. So I know you guys are going to be like, Oh, what does it matter? This and that, uh, you, you know, you guys are going to find out right now. Let me play the video for you guys. And um, because this is crazy. The mother of 23 year old Lauren Smith Fields of Bridgeport says her family's world came crashing down 10 Sam. days ago Rest when her peace. daughter was found dead inside her apartment on Plymouth Street under what the family describes as mysterious circumstances. The medical examiner has not yet released the cause of death, and investigators aren't commenting. Let me hold on. This is not the, the main 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 article but um big shout out big shout out to everybody tuning in so uh the the that is crazy yeah uh may she rest in peace her name her name is uh lauren smith's field fields um here's the here's actually the the main video so uh she was from from uh bridgeport and the family still she want they want answers the cops are not they're not really um showing that they care let me inside i miss my baby the mother of 23 year old lauren smith here we go this is the full video says her family's world came crashing down 10 days ago when her daughter was found dead inside her apartment on plymouth street under what the family describes as mysterious circumstances the medical examiner has not yet released the cause of death and investigators aren't commenting Without a doubt, we know that my daughter. And this this happened. See, it's already what what's what's today? It's uh, the 29th. And this when they found her um, was in December 12th, and and still the cops they're they're not you know they're not helping. They're not providing any kind of help. Daughter was not a drug user, and I had a second autopsy myself. We paid out of pocket. They had to pay out of pocket because we felt so uncomfortable with the way it was handled. It's Lauren. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Also, too, she was she was she was a YouTuber, fellow YouTuber. I checked her channel. I haven't seen uh, any of her videos, um, but the cops they they're still not trying to charge or or do an investigation because they say the guy. The older guy she went out with, uh, he seems like a nice guy. So they, they let him go. Lauren was a familiar face to YouTube audiences 
Her family says she had been a track star at Stanford High School and was now studying physical therapy at Norwalk Community College. A sweet child, they say, who had blossomed into a beautiful young woman who had the whole world at her feet. They say Lauren had met, quote, an older white man on the mm. dating app Bumble, and it was he name? who alerted police to Lauren's death. Her channel, Lala, oh man, I forgot, Lala, I, I got to search it and upload it. But she has about like a couple of, a couple of, um, a couple of videos. I think like her subscribers is under, under 400 or something. It doesn't matter, you know, I'm not, um, okay, yeah, so here they do. Sugar daddy. Sugar daddy, yeah, it seems like, like she was looking for a sugar daddy. Uh, my respects to the family and, 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 you know, my condolences go out, um, we're just breaking down the, the video and sugar daddy or not, you know, it doesn't give him the right to do what he did, but we do have to point this out. And also to, I'm trying to make this video to bring awareness because not a lot of people, uh, um, have made videos. Uh, when it came out, nobody was sp speaking about it. Nobody was talking on it. It was about like probably one content creator that was out there, um, made a video. Now there's a couple of them, but, it's mainly um, people of color, you know, that are trying to trying to pump up the news and and bring up the news, bring awareness. Um, I'm not trying to bring and compare uh, the G Gabby Petito case, but but you know, may she rest in peace too. But we need to we need to to treat all these cases with the same with the same um, intensity that they did the Gabby Petito, and especially the authorities shouldn't be telling turning the family down. And telling them that they can't investigate or they're not going to investigate the guy because he seemed like a nice guy. Let me continue to play the video. Um, to a beautiful young woman who had the whole world at her feet. They say Lauren had met, quote, an older white man on the dating app Bumble. And it was he who alerted police to Lauren's death. The family wow. says they are not satisfied with answers they got from an investigator. I asked him about the guy. He just made it seem like the guy was a nice guy. There was nothing to investigate. The only contact investigator. Bro. I asked him about the guy. He just made it seem like the guy was a nice guy. There was nothing to investigate. The only contact that we have had. Nothing to investigate. Bro. That's it. So, oh, dude, like, oh, we, this, oh he's a nice guy. Oh, okay. Oh he, oh, he looks like a nice guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, never mind. Let it go. The guy, he just made it seem like the guy was a nice guy. It was nothing to investigate. The only contact that we have had was from a very insensitive, condescending, and arrogant detective. Lauren's dad reading yeah. a scathing statement saying police failed to extend the most basic courtesies and yeah. told his family to stop calling. Councilwoman Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So they just they just told they just told the family, hey, stop calling. Like like really, dude. Like really. Via Pereira says police owe Lauren's mom courtesies and told his family to stop calling. Councilwoman Maria Pereira says police owe Lauren's mom an apology. She sent a really well written email and I was shocked when just yesterday she told me she had not even received a response. A mom who's left to plan her daughter's funeral just days before Damn. Christmas says she's struggling to find a path forward. Life is not the same. Very I don't know sad. who I'm going to be after this. In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut. Yeah, they need to, they need to, they need to, to file a lawsuit, man, against the whole, whole department. Um, I can only, I mean, I, I can't imagine, I can't say I can only, I, I can't imagine, you know, um, you know, something happens to one of my relatives, knock on wood, man. And, and, you know, they, they, they know who, who was the last person she went out with. They, they, dude, this guy, this guy was the one that called the cops, you know, that, that she was, she was gone and, and. The least they can do is interrogate the, the dude. But now, nah, since uh, um, he's a, uh, he seems like a nice guy. Um, we'll let him go. Um, it seems like they took down some some articles because they even had the they even had uh, the picture of, of of the suspect. I call it suspect because alleged, you know, and this is all alleged, but until proven. So, but come on, man, dude, like, so they they issued an apology, and it's like, um, 
Y'all ladies got to be careful out there. You, got, you ladies got to be careful. Times are crazy. Times are crazy, and you, you can't just um, can't just be going out, oh, man. I know some ladies, you guys are trying to meet guys with money. Um, I'm not saying she was trying to do this, you know, out of respect, but if you go out, you got to be letting you people know support. who you, who you're going to be with, especially if you don't know this person, young, 23 year old, you know, found in an apartment. Uh, let me read the article here. Uh, Lauren Smith Fields was found unresponsive inside her uh, Plymouth or Ply- Plymouth um, Street apartment on December twelfth, and later died. Um, yeah, most likely it was it was probably an overdose once again. Once again, yeah, yeah, I better stop messing around. Especially, okay. Number one rule for next year, ladies and gentlemen, has to be if you meet somebody. You can't you can't be doing drugs. You can't be doing crazy shit that's gonna put you out of your your regular mind, you know, state of mind. You gotta you gotta be aware who you're out there, man. You can't just be treating this like you know what I mean, like you're out there at a rave with with uh, best friends or even sometimes best friends. You know, you can't be trusting. You can't be trusting anyone. Um, the medical. Okay, so they say her. Yeah, she was hard. She owned her own business too, you know, and she was going to school. Uh, the medical examiner has not released the cause of death. Investigators are not commenting. Dude, good thing the father, good thing the family got their own their own private investigator because, geez, man, and I see how it says right here. Okay, uh, without a doubt, uh, we know that my daughter was not a drug user. Um, I had a second autopsy myself paid out of pocket because we felt so uncomfortable with the way it was handled, said Everett. Um, family, family says Smithfield met an older white man on Bumble, and it was, uh, it was he who alerted the police to her death. And then when the brother, uh, um, I guess the brother confronted the, the authorities, the cops, um, uh, her brother says he asked the authorities about the man, but was told that he was a nice guy with no need to be investigated. What kind of shit is that? What kind of shit is that? Man. Yeah, this, man, if, if my condolences to the family and if you guys are listening or watching this video, um, anything I can do or if you guys have a GoFundMe page, uh, please, please make sure you guys... Uh, messages at activate la radio on instagram or you guys can send us an email at info activate la at gmail.com uh, um i want to help the least thing i can do is is share you guys this gofundme page if you guys have one uh and spread the word here because you guys need justice and this this can't just be the, you guys can't just let it go or and people in general we can't just let it go man you know just because of the, the the older white man um and the cops said that he you know he looked like a nice guy that's it we're gonna let him go nah man there's a the thing is that there's a lot of injustice out there that they just they just the people get away with it man and thanks right now to the thanks to social media we're able to uh, catch and check some some of these this this type of stuff that the cops and authorities get away with <clears throat> this is very unlucky man this is very tragic it's a very tragic situation. And uh, I was checking Instagram and I checked uh, Bumble's Instagram and people are going at Bumble right now on, on their Instagram. Uh, so they posted this um, a day ago and it's a, it's a, it's a post that says uh, you're all caught up. Hey you, yes, you take a moment for yourself and put the phone away. Boom. And they posted in the in their comment section uh, this week is one of the Bumble is one of Bumble's company's wide resets reset week at a time and space where our employees can unplug and reset. Mental health is important. Let's prioritize uh, prioritize it. And people are just going at them on the comment section. Let me read some of these comments. <clears throat> it says, "Are you going to help Lauren Smith's field um, family?" You owe them that because uh, she met a man 
she met uh, the the man who murdered her on your app and do do you care or not now people are upset i don't think it's bumble's um fault but i do think i do think bumble should should you know help the family you know help the, at least at least with monetary or or expenses especially if they're posting this stuff it's like come on okay so you're talking about you know um, um taking a break mental health and all that so bumble you need you need you need to help the family right now especially with these hard times um it says lauren's family can't wait uh, well you are clearly not where's the justice for lauren they they need to yeah they need to to the least thing bumble can do right now is is try to help help them you know find justice because uh, what do you think? Do you guys think Bumble should be responsible? Not, I won't say responsible, but um, you think Bumble at least at least they can do is help them with uh, with money to cover the expenses for the lawyers and all that, and get a private investigator, get the covers cost the costs covered. So yeah, man, they're going at it. Everybody's like justice for for Lawrence with Smith Fields. And I hope I hope justice is served. Man. Follow us on Instagram and stay connected at, at Activate Teleradio. There's a there's actually a page right here for her expenses. Um I'm gonna post the I'm gonna show you guys the page and then I'm gonna post the link. Once again, if the family sees this, or if you know the family, um, let them know if they have a if they have if they have a um, a GoFundMe page. I would like to share it on. On my live streams, that's that's the least thing I can do. And um, yeah, man, this this can happen to anyone. This can happen to to any any of our people in our community so very tragic man 